If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Do all dogs go to heaven? That's the question we want to know. Are there going to be animals? Are there going to be our pets? Because we love our dogs. That question, do all dogs go to heaven, of course comes from the really uh, dumb and dark uh, kids movie from the 1980s. Maybe you've seen it. If not, don't worry about it. But that's a question that people have. Are my pets going to be in heaven? I, I wonder. We all wonder. And I can tell you the answer is very clear. Golden Retrievers, yes. German Shepherds, yes. Labs, yes. Beagles, yes. Um, pit Bulls, Poodles, I'm not so sure. Chihuahuas, there's a special place in hell for them. But no, that is the question people want to have because we wonder, 67% of Americans have a pet and 53%, a majority of our country have dogs. Jason, you have a dog, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, and you just got a brand new puppy. Yes, I did. He's, Zion, yeah, what, what, he, what is Zion? He is a golden retriever. And beautiful, he bring, brings in Zion. He's so much fun, the kids love Zion. It, it's awesome, we love our pets. I don't personally have a dog, so I know that makes me in the minority here. So, so please forgive me of it. But we do all love our pets and we want them to be in heaven. So the question is, are they gonna be there with us? Will Rogers once said, if there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Okay, people love their dogs. I know you love your dogs because you are out there in the freezing cold first thing in the morning, picking up a warm piece of poop. That's how much you love your dogs. I don't even do those that for my children, okay? But we do it for our dogs, right? Because we love our pets, especially our dogs, and we wanna know, are they gonna be in heaven? The uh, Pope Francis caused a stir a few years ago, back in 2014, when he reportedly told a young boy whose dog had died, paradise is open to all God's creatures. And man, this made front page news. It was everywhere. It was in the New York Times, PETA, did some stuff about it. Theologians wrote essays about it because everybody's like, wow, look at this. Now it turns out this may have been some fake news. He might not have ever said that line, but it still caused a lot of people to speculate and wonder because a lot of parents were like, this is great. They can breathe a sigh of relief because now they don't have to tell their five-year-old that Gumby the guinea pig had to go to a farm upstate. They don't have to lie anymore, right? He's gonna be in heaven, right? Well, that's what we wanna know. Well, today I'm gonna to give you five reasons why I think there will be animals in heaven. So here are the five reasons. The first one is creation. God loves animals. He created animals. He created a huge variety of the animals that live on the, the planet, the birds, the, the land mammals, the uh, land animals and all the, all the creatures that, that walk and crawl along the ground. That's what he created in Genesis 1 and he said it's very good. Throughout the Bible, God uses animals like Balaam's donkey he, there's birds that bring manna. Um, Jonah had a giant fish swallow him up for three days. Animals are all over the Bible. It seems that God loves them. So creation is the first evidence that God loves animals. The second one is protection. And I'm saying this because God specifically went out of his way, particularly with Noah's Ark, to protect animals. So if he protects animals, I think there's a good chance they'll be in heaven. When God destroys almost all of mankind in the flood, he makes sure Noah packs along two of each animal, right? He wants to protect them. So that's the second thing. And, and did you know this? In the Ten Commandments, it talks about protecting animals. And there's a whole proverb that talks about how if we're going to be righteous people, we need to care for animals. God cares about the protection of animals. That's the second reason why I think there's going to be animals in heaven. The third one, prediction. There are several prophecies in the Bible, particularly in Isaiah chapter 11 and in Isaiah chapter 65, that have this great vision of what heaven's gonna be like. And there's a wolf and a lamb together. There's a lion and an ox together. All the animals are together in peace and they're loving each other. Man, if, if there's an image of heaven in the Bible, animals are part and parcel of it. So that's the third thing, prediction. The fourth reason why I think there's going to be animals in heaven is restoration. In Genesis chapter 2, which is in the very beginning when God created everything and it was good, there are animals. They are in the garden. Things are beautiful. There's this tree in the center of the garden that, that is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. There's the tree of life. There's all these things. But what's interesting is that's not just at the beginning. At the very end of the Bible, in the last chapter in Revelation 22, it also talks about the same tree, the same river that's there in the garden, but here is a city with people living in it. It is heaven as the earth was supposed to be. It's everything restored. So restoration is the fourth reason. The fifth one, adoration. The fifth thing is adoration. In the Bible, it literally says in Psalm 150, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. 
There's another vision in Revelation chapter 5, verse 13, where John, one of the disciples, says, Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them saying and praising Jesus. So there's this evidence from adoration. If all the creatures, including animals, are going to be worshiping Jesus, they're probably going to be there in heaven. So I think these five evidences are pretty convincing. One, creation. Two, protection. Three, prediction. Four, restoration. And five, adoration. It convinces me that yes, animals will be in heaven. So that's good news. I remember at one funeral that I was with, with a man whose wife had just died. She loved horses. And he wondered, will, will she be able to ride horses again in heaven? And I said, I think so. I think so. That sounds like an awesome thing that heaven would provide, doesn't it? But then the next question people have is, well, what about my animals? What about my pets? Well, theologians debate about this, but there are theologians like John Wesley who said, yes, there will be our pets in heaven. And Johnny Erickson Tata once wrote, if God brings our pets back to life, it wouldn't surprise me. It would be just like him. It would be totally in keeping with his generous character, exorbitant, excessive, extravagant grace after grace. And that's the type of God we love and worship. And I think he's going to provide a heaven for us filled with animals and maybe even our pets. So do all dogs go to heaven? Maybe not chihuahuas, but I do think there are going to be dogs and pets and animals in heaven and it's going to be awesome. But the more important question is, are you going to be there in heaven? And that's what we're going to talk about next week. Who gets in? Who decides? Make sure you subscribe right here at the bottom uh, if you're watching on YouTube or, or if you're not, go to Arise Church Denver's YouTube and subscribe. We'll be back next week. If you have questions about heaven or, or about the Bible, I would love to answer them. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you back next week for our midweek moment.